Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cine Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today I have three teams for you for the world event, the Dragon's Secret, I think it's called. A Dragon Secret. Um, so we have like Hellcrag restrictions, something like that. Constructs, Hellcrag. I don't think Constructs, but definitely Hellcrag. Um, and we have Spell and Skull Damage Metal, so you can use either or. Uh, and it would be appropriate. Of course, spell is usually better. But if you want to do skull for fun, I, 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 don't, I don't blame you. Um, this first team is Kalsadani. This is a low-level team. Don't worry, I got a high-level and a mid-level that's not Kalsadani. But if you're a low-level player, here you go. You got triple Kalsadani. It will work all the way. So while this team plays on the screen, I'm going to read you the scoring for the world event. Since everybody knows how to play Kalsadani. You just cast it over and over and over and loop. Um, you got to do uh, Geomancer class as your class, though. Make yourself all construct. All right, so there are... Um, I'm not going to read, like, the phases and stuff. You guys know the phase one, phase two, phase three. You can't really affect that. It doesn't really matter what you do. It just is a thing. The scoring. Here we go. You can find the following rewards for each of the different battles you may encounter. The World Breaker is worth the most. Six crystals. Matron Dragatani is worth the second most. Five crystals. Volthranax is worth the third most, four crystals. Eye of Argus is worth the fourth most, five idols. Then Saul Zara with four idols, and then Wardrock with three idols. So the Worldbreaker is worth the most. Wardrock is worth the least. The one, only one thing that's going to, you know, make it irritating is the Eye of Argus is worth less than Volthranax and Matron Dragatani. Just keep that in mind that the Eye of Argus, the mythic, is worth less than Volthranax and Matron Dragatani. I think actually Volthranax and Matron Dragatani and the Worldbreaker all have a different emblem. They're like a dragon, so that'll let you know. Like if you see a dragon emblem, pick that instead of Eye of Argus. But yeah, that's the one thing that is uh, slightly different than you would think. You would think Eye of Argus would be worth more than Volthranax and worth more than Matron Dragatani, but no, it's worth less. So Worldbreaker. Then Matron Dragatani, then Volthranax, then Eye of Argus, then Salzara, then Wardrock. Worldbreaker's worth the most, Wardrock's worth the least. Alright, here's the Skull Team. I know you guys like Skull Teams. I do too, I do too. I just know when to not use them and when to use Spell. When they give you a Spell, you gotta use it. Uh, but in case you do want to use Skulls, you could use Triple Zenith with the Watchful Blade. Both of these first teams are utilizing the Watchful Blade. It should be available in the Soul Forge right now, so there's no no trouble, right? Um, Zenith is cool because for every like evil gargoyle gem or good gargoyle gem on the board, one or the other, it makes like extra Doom Skulls, and then we have three of them all making an evil gargoyle gem every time you get an extra turn. So the intricacy of this team is you need to cast the Watchful Blade first before you start casting the Zeniths. Because you want to get some sort of extra turn before you start casting Zenith. I would recommend at least one extra turn, potentially two, you know, before you start casting those Zeniths. You can't just cast them right away because you haven't done any kind of extra turns yet. So you got to cast the Watchful Blade. It'll make red and, and purple or something. Red and brown. Uh, red and brown based on Construct allies or, or Hellcrag allies. And um, so most of the time it's going to get an extra turn because you got all... All of that. It's all your team is all that. So you should get some sort of extra turn when you cast the Watchful Blade. That'll start your evil gargoyle gems on the board, which will give you more Doom Skulls. As you can see in this battle, where it went actually pretty well, and I got a lot of Doom Skulls. Zenith has fifty percent skull reduction, that's why it's in first slot, and um you'd be alright. If you start losing troops, maybe you can uh you know, I don't know, switch to uh the Obsidian Librum or something so you can get a summon. But you need the extra turns. You can't really do that. So that's why I just don't recommend Skull. But if you want to, there's a uh, mid-level team with Skulls on it. As well as right here, this team is also kind of a mid-level team because there's no Mythics. So if you don't like the Skull team, you can use this one. And there's no Mythics on it, so it qualifies as the mid-level team also. The high-level troops I didn't really like. I don't like Tourmaline. And um, Thrasku is cool and everything, but it's a single-target damage troop. Maybe super deep you could switch to CT, but... At the moment, I don't think it's the best way to go. Keep in mind, I have only like a badge here. I don't have a medal yet. So once these teams have the what they're supposed to have, they will work much better. So you'll see this team right here not one-shotting and, and sometimes not even two-shotting. But if I have a medal or two, it would definitely do that. It's just super early in the morning and 
We haven't got very many rewards yet, and I didn't buy very very far up into the shop. So later on this week, this team will look much better. But I'm using the new dragon. Go go to the uh, um, event key drop table, throw some event keys, and you can get that new dragon right there. Its name is um, Dragonstone Guardian. It hits all enemies and creates a mix of good and bad gargoyle gems. Um, then you got Obsidian Axis so you can get in the underworld really easily. So both things are available right now. If you for some reason can't get the as a high level, this is the high level team by the way, so we're assuming you have access to everything. But if you can't, use another Obsidian Axis or Tourmaline or even CT instead of the uh, new dragon. But Watchful Blade, Obsidian Axis, the new dragon, and Turn a Bog for the Brown Storm. Um, you got two dragons hitting all enemies. You should be fine, especially the more uh, medals you get. Uh, and you get to use the new troop. Remember, I live stream on Wednesday. If I ever make changes, I'll make changes before Wednesday, and then I'll show you on Wednesday. Like, share, subscribe, so you're joining. Helps a lot to hear. Get about channel comment below, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.